Joker, Folie à deux. Bombs at the box office. There's a monster. The much-anticipated sequel starring Joaquin Phoenix and Lady Gaga opened with just $40 million, a shocking contrast to the original Joker's massive $96 million debut in 2019. That's less than half of what the first movie made during its opening weekend, despite Folia Du having a budget that's more than three times larger, around $190 million. Critics and fans alike had high hopes, but things took a turn when audiences gave it a rare D cinema score, a grade that no Hollywood comic book movie has ever received before. The negative word of mouth hit hard, and ticket sales dropped even further over the weekend. To put it in perspective, rival studios were originally projecting an opening in the $50 to $70 million range. So this bombshell debut was a massive underperformance. The first Joker was a cultural phenomenon. Not only pulling in over $1 billion globally, but also earning Joaquin Phoenix an Oscar for his portrayal of Arthur Fleck. Audiences connected with the gritty, psychological dive into the Joker's mind. However, its sequel tried to take things in a different direction, blending musical elements with the dark tone, which didn't land as well with fans. Even overseas, the numbers didn't do much to save the film, with the movie pulling in $81 million internationally, still far below expectations. And though the film was praised for its performances, with many lauding Lady Gaga and Phoenix's acting, the storyline seemed to drag, leaving audiences disappointed. What do you think happened? Did the musical aspect throw audiences off? Or was it just too different from the original hit? Well, it surely will impact future Joker-related projects. Did you see the movie? Share your thoughts.